This is my oral presentation on the recovery process following a triathlon. So this oral presentation will consist of um, a bit of introduction about a triathlon, the methods section, the results section, and also a conclusion. So a triathlon is an ultra endurance event that comprises of a 3.8 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer cycle, and a 42.2 kilometer run. Um, science tells us that performance in a triathlon requires a high VO2 max and the ability to swim, cycle and run for an ex extended period of time. Such ultra endurance events impose uh, strenuous physical load on the athlete, for example, significant in energy demand, thermal stress, dehydration and severe muscle damage and inflammatory responses. So this um, oral presentation will focus mainly on the muscle damage and the inflammatory responses following an XR uh, triathlon. As a result of this uh, muscle damage and inflammatory response, triathlons can, have, triathlons can have a severe impact on the athlete's health and condition and cause longer periods than other, uh, longer recovery periods than other sports. Several studies have investigated these physiological effects post triathlon using blood markers. These uh, studies provide a good insight into the duration needed for optimal recovery and also let us take, uh, take a look at potential health effects um, following an ultra endurance event. So I first conducted um, my search for articles on the Deakin University Library catalogue and I also used Google Scholar as well. So my main search findings were looking for peer reviewed journal articles related to recovery from triathlons. So the following search terms were used and they generated 221 results. So I used triathlon, ultra endurance, Ironman, recovery and restore. Um, the publication data was set at 19, sorry the publication year was set at 1995 to 2016. In total, I selected five journal articles, and now I will continue on to the results section. So as uh, mentioned before, my main focus from the results was from a recovery phase of muscle damage and inflammatory responses, and, and also hyponatremia, which is like severe loss of sodium and causes um, dehydration as well. So muscle damage and hyponatremia are highly prevalent post-triathlon and this is found in a lot of studies um, that I looked at when looking for the results. Um, so muscle damage and inflammatory response have been examined and identified uh, the time taken to fully recover from a triathlon and uh, these results section will identify how long it recovers from, uh, how long it takes to recover from a triathlon. Um, and also hyponatremia is an important risk um, to athletes completing in triathlons and can result in hospitalization and numerous studies have found that following an Ironman um, or a triathlon, sorry, um, there has been at least one case in every study that I looked at that followed in uh, hospitalization from hyponatremia. So the first study I'm looking at is from Nusaka et al and they examined the changes in blood markers and muscle soreness and economy of motion 24 hours, 2 days, 8 days and 15 days post triathlon. So what they found was that muscle soreness and blood markers peaked from 2 to 24 hours post triathlon but then returned to baseline within 8 days. So overall this study found that in a well trained athlete um, they can recover and comp uh, compete within one week without the, um, the need of th uh, therapeutic um, treatment. So, you know, ice baths, um, you know, massage, dry needling, stuff like that. Um, the next, next study that I looked at was Mijika uh, et al. And they also examined the changes in blood markers um, at five, six, and eight days following um, a triathlon. And this looked at uh, a case study over four years. And they found that uh, there were significant increases in creatine kinase um, post-triathlon. Apart from this increase in creatine, creatine uh, kinase, all other values returned to baseline within a week post-triathlon. 
So this is similar to um, Nusaka's um, et al. study where it only took a week to fully recover. Um, and then the next study I looked at was Nubura, um, if I'm pronouncing it right, et al. Um, and they also investigated muscle damage and inflammatory response. Um, and this was within 42 triathletes, 1, 5 and 19 days post-triathlon. Um, five days post-race, um, blood markers of muscle damage, including creatine kinase um, and cortisol significantly increase. These values returned to baseline within 19 days post-race. So there was one study here by Speedy et al. that looked at hyponatremia um, in triathletes. And they, uh, this study investigated the effects of flu fluid balance and the prevalence of hyponatremia post-triathlon. And so in this study it was found that 9% of um, athletes that sought medical um, attention um, had hyponatremia. So as I alluded to before, you know, at least one person in each of the studies I looked at, you know, had hyponatremia that went to hospital. So overall in this study, um, an inverse relationship was found between post-race sodium concentration and the percentage change in body weight. Um, one athlete with hyponatremia drank 16 litres throughout the race and gained 2.5% um, body weight. So overall it was found that hyponatremia occurred due to uh, fluid overload and not fluid loss. Um, so that was the um, interesting finding. I uh, just want to sort of touch on, I didn't really focus on the recovery process, so methods like massage ice bars, because um, I couldn't really find as much research on that. So I looked at the muscle damage and the um, inflammatory responses post triathlon. Um, to sort of get a good idea how long it takes and when an athlete should start, you know, training for another uh, for the next triathlon. So how many days they should give to fully recover, because um, it is a strenuous event. So just in conclusion, um, we know that a triathlon is an ultra endurance event that places significant physical demand on the body and results in muscle damage and hyponatremia, which is a serious condition, especially in triathletes. Um, overall, the research that I looked at um, has found that it can take up to it, it took up to about a week for all the uh, three of those studies that I have um, alluded to before um, for the body to turn uh, return to pre-race condition. In addition, um, hyponatremia has been found um, and regularly occurs during um, post triathlon and in triathletes. Um, and this is mainly due from um, exercise, fluid consumption, and excessive um, water in the body. Um, ultimately, these findings can be used to monitor and regulate the health and well-being uh, being of triathletes, um, which overall, you know, that's the most important thing. You want to you want to make sure that athletes are health and healthy and you know well. So. Um, that's my oral presentation on the recovery process following a triathlon. I hope you enjoyed it.